Hey guys, it's your boy. Uh, we are here with a casual double battle. I'm going to just say VGC. Um, we're going to have Hydreigon in the mist here. His team is looking pretty nice with Don Donzo, Tatsugiri, Sableye, Glamour, and Heracross in Golden Go. I haven't actually seen a Heracross set, or Heracross regardless, in, uh, in any of these games, and I always like that. Same with Sableye. I'm sorry if you hear my dog uh, <laughs> bunching on the bone. But we're going to end up bringing Breloom first, Hydreigon second, and Garchomp and Gyarados, if I'm not mistaken. Um, for this, I could honestly want Amoongus and Breloom, but if he did bring Golden Go, it seemed like a waste of a, of, uh, of a Mon. So bringing Breloom just checks if he does have the Dundonzo or the Tatsugiri start, I can get a free sword stance and hopefully use um bullet seed to just knock it out or just read it and use bullet seed and just do a chunk of damage and with Hydreigon just do a bunch of damage both of mine so with Heat Wave, uh, Draco Meteor Read and Drake uh, Dark Pulse Read. We're actually just going to probably end up Draco Meteoring into uh, Glamora. Am I gonna just protect first? Is this me? Is this good? Yeah. We're gonna Draco Meteor into Glamora. And honestly, get the Sword Thans off, because. And I miss. You, you truly hate to see RNG not playing your favor. We end up missing the Draco Meteor. Tatsugiri is going to taunt on Breloom, but it's actually slower, so I get my Sword Dance off. off and that's kind of what matters. It's going to end up sludge waving and doing as much damage. I thought this strategy was pretty cool. He ends up poisoning his uh, Tatsugiri. Very unlucky. And my Breloom just lives with a dash. A spick of uh, HP. Right now, I can hopefully do as much damage. I cannot Spore or use Horde's Dance, so I'm going to just Grass Terra and click to whatever is on the left of the screen, so I know he's like, I have to get this Donzo off. I have to get it off. So I'm going to actually double in to the left side of his screen because he wants to preserve the, the Tatsugiri. It's always been the Tatsugiri. But with that being said, um, this is past Juwan. I ruined the recording. So future Juwan is uh, about to pop out. So Yeah, he gets his, his rocks off. And I'm going to turn my grass here. The mic is not even on, but we're going to keep the show going. Um, <laughs> I'm going to actually turn it into bringing grass. Just for the fact of bullet seed into anything on the left slot and I was faster than everything that he had. Would just do a lot of damage and even if I get like the minimum, the minimum of two. Those bullet seeds are going to, to hurt my boy. Or I could just always mock punch and get the technician boost. But we're going to just knock out the Dundonzo and get him out of the game early. And I'm very glad for it because he can become a problem and drag out games. Oh, let me tell you, boy, I'm trying, let me tell you. But nonetheless, Tatsugiri now just plopped back down onto the floor. Uh, very vulnerable, doesn't know what it's doing. It's just like flopping around. I need to do a shiny hunt for it, for shiny Tatsugiri. That would be nice. He's gonna bring back out his Glamora. And right now, I'm going to hopefully just bait with my Hydreigon and click Mach Punch and do as much damage to something. I don't know if it would be Tatsugiri. Well, I'm, I'm thinking Tatsugiri can't really do anything this turn. And my Breloom is going to uh, die regardless. Because I don't even have um, Protect. I guess I could just do a raw switch in, but it doesn't really seem worth it. I got the most usage out of Breloom. We're going to Protectify Dragon. Mock Punch. I think I chose the Mock Punch here, and that was just terrible since I was already faster than the Glamora. But it almost okos it, so we take those. Gamora's just gonna end up using Sludge Wave. Our Hydreigon's not actually protected and will survive a new turn while his Tatsugiri and my Breloom will be knocked out and KO'd. 
So with this, I still have, I believe, did I bring Gyarados and Amoongus? Oh no, Garchomp. Yeah, nonetheless, I have Gyarados, so even if I get Poison, I can stop that. But I'm in an unfavorable position because Gyarados is part uh, water. <laughs> I mean, water and flying. Intimidate goes down. Doesn't really matter. I guess it can affect the Sableye, but not really for Gamora since it's special attack most of the time. We're gonna EQ. Our Hydreigon has the ability Levitate, so it will not get hit. It hits everything on the field. And hopefully we'll just do damage because we do have our Garchomp in the back for safety. So I end up using Fake Out. My Gyarados won't, uh, won't attack. I think I was contemplating on using Protect. But, uh, I save a lot, boy. And that's the thing. He ended up using Sludge Wave. I wonder if he used Choice Specs. He's doing damage to everything. I think this doesn't really favor his team. For me. He could have rest on his Dundon, though. And he could just heal up that way. And have that status condition for it to work. Oh, you, get, you can't even have two of uh, another mom on the field. Yeah, I don't know. If this uh, such wave set. Uh, I'm going to end up using Earthquake. Knock it out. We've got double Earthquake just in case. But I'm going to use Waterfall. You know, Wide Guard could always be a thing. And the battle is canceled. Um, think, guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> thanks for watching. Like and subscribe, it's your boy. Uh, we're back for more content.